Hi, in today's video, I've got the daunting task of trying to simplify this pack. So, if you have a food outlet, or you're a manager, you should be familiar with this. It's actually free. You can download it from the FSA, Food Standards Agency website, and it's over 100 pages long, and it's got over 200 sections you as a manager, business owner, are required by law to fill out. Failing to do this, you will go from five stars to two stars down. So this is important, but also you don't just have a 100 page, 200 part document to fill out. You need to have an allergen matrix, another requirement by law. So every item, on your menu, you have to document. That is requirement by law. And also, you can download a blank one from the FSA. And then, if that wasn't enough, you then have to keep your records, your daily diary, your temperature sheets, your suppliers. Now, I said I'm going to simplify it, or try and simplify it. So, how can I simplify that? I can simplify that by these three. So let's talk about the book. Notice there's a QR code here. I actually will fill out your book to your procedures. Okay, I will then put that online. So when the environment health officer comes in, you can scan the QR code and they have access to your book. And it's also is there, so you can. You can't misplace it, all right? So that's quite simple. So I've simplified a 200 section or 100 page book. So how do I simplify the allergens? Well, for a start, again, I will do the allergen matrix for you. This will be at the point of sale. You can scan the QR code. The customer can scan the QR code. The environment health can, health can scan the QR code and the complete allergen matrix will be download, uh, downloaded to the phone. So, how do I simplify that? Well, I've got a little poster here that probably explains it a little bit better. This is part of it. This is your daily diary. And this has to be filled in seven days a week. So, in here you can see it's blank. And you need to fill in things like your deliveries, your temperature control. Did you um, do the opening checks? Did you do the closing checks? But if you look at my book, it's pretty self-explanatory. Was all the food cooked above 75 C? Rhetorical question. Of course it was. All right. The law says it has to be. But how do you know? So... That gets me on to the next part. There's no point me just filling in all these parts and you don't know what they mean. I have produced a section, a sheet here that has 34 topics that cover the whole of the SFBB book. So for example, I've turned to cloths and then you have to read all this and put your policy in. Now, if I go to the cloths, it refers to Media Poster 7. Media Poster 7, yes, I provide you with 12 media posters that you scan and they actually train you and your staff every aspect of the book. And we're not talking sitting down there doing an online course. These videos are no more than one or two minutes long. And this is the great part about them. These posters actually go on your wall. So if the council come in and say to your staff, oh, what should the food be? Well, they can do two things. They can read it from here. There's no law saying they can't read it. Or you can scan the video here. So you can train new staff and you can actually prove that 
all aspects of the SFBB book you understand. So, you're going to go from this to this. If you'd like to know more, please contact me through WhatsApp or by the telephone number or by my email. I am James Morris and that's about as simple as I can put that. But failure to have up-to-date records goes from five to two stars. I'm James Morris. See you next time.